Yo, I am so excited. I just got a new drone. I can't wait to check it out. Can I hear that? Hey, what's up? I'm Sinkyu. I'm the crazy one from the video. I thought I would just kick off my channel with a little fun. I love drones, as you can see. I'm working on my master's certification in unmanned systems, small unmanned systems operations. Say that five times really fast. And it's at Embry-Riddle University. So I've learned so much in just the two classes I've taken so far. I have two more left. And today I just wanna share some things that I've learned about drones, small drones. Uh, those are ones that are um, under 55 pounds. I fell in love with flying drones about a couple years ago, I think right before the pandemic. And my hobby, it's not an addiction, even though you're gonna see a lot of drones in a minute, but it's, it's grown. I'm learning all the different things you can do with them from racing, to trying to make money on a commercial level, to just flying photography is absolutely amazing. And the technology is getting better and better. So for my first video, I wanna kick it off by showing you a few of the drones that I have, uh, give you a little bit of specs about them. And then the next video, because I know a few of you all are gonna get drones for Christmas, I wanna share important regulations with you, FAA 107 regulations for any drone that's over 250 grams, what you need to do, and also how to fly them safe if you get them for a Christmas present. So you can stay out of trouble. Cause you don't wanna pay $500 for a drone and then have to pay a $10,000 fine. That's not good. So anyway, let me take you over here to my toy store and show you what I have in my collection. I think of it as MTV Cribs for drones. All right, you ready? Move this skateboard out the way before I break my neck. Here we go, this is my lovely collection of drones. And one of these drones, I think I'm gonna give it away this year, maybe in a couple months. One of these two. My first drone that we have on the list is the Autel Nano Plus, which is this baby right here. It weighs less than 249 grams, which means you do not have to register it with the FAA. It's very small and compact. It folds up into a nice little bag for travels and it has obstacle avoidance sensors on the bottom, on the front, and on the back as well. Those are those black circles. It takes an SD card and it has a very nice camera. Um, 48 megapixel camera. It costs about $750, it's very lightweight. And the flight time, 28 minute on the flight time. Zoom on it, uh, you can go up to 16 times zoom. And there's no geofence, which is a feature of DJI, um, which is a feature that will block you from flying, which is a good thing, because it keeps you safe. I'll talk about that in my next video. As far as the controller, this is the controller for it. It's pretty simple. You put your cell phone in here and you use that to fly with the map. These are your controls. And you also have camera and video on this side. And then you also have the ability to control the pitch of your gym, uh, gimbal, I'm sorry. And this plug here just goes into your cell phone. And it can use Android or Apple. So that is the Altel Nano Plus.
All right, the next drone is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. These two, I just recently purchased. I'll kind of put them side by side so we could do a comparison, but they're very comparable in terms of specs. The Mini 3 Pro has this really cool controller that came with it. Um, it also weighs less than 250 grams. The biggest thing with that is that you don't have to regis register it on the drone zone website. It has obstacle sensing as well. Those are, this is here on the bottom, two obstacle sensors, the front, and I thought it also had it on the, uh, on the back, but I don't see it on the back. Um, size, like I said, is pretty comparable to Altel. The controller is very nice, so you don't have to use your cell phone with that one. And I think the price is $950 for it. It also has uh, 48 megapixels, which is the same as Altel, and it can do 4K at 30 frames per second. Coming in, number three, we have the Parrot Anafi. This was my first drone for class. I, um, I bought this because it actually can do photogrammetry and 3D mapping, ortho mosaics. And this is the controller, it's very nice controller. The battery is here. It weighs 320 grams, so you actually have to register this drone. Um, they don't make this uh, drone anymore, so they're really difficult to get. Um, as far as it does have a sensor on the bottom for landing distance, which is here. And it has 21 megapixel camera, 4K video, 25 minutes of flight time. And you can get two times, 2.8 times digital zoom. I found this one online because it doesn't have collision avoidance. And so I actually crashed it on accident, but I found it online and I replaced it for $300 just because it's such a good little drone. It folds up and it's pretty easy to use. So, and then again, this is the controller for it, which is pretty neat. This is one of my favorite pictures that I took over at Lake Michigan. I think I used the Parrot Anafi to take that photo. All right, next up, Skydio 2 Plus. This drone, 800 grams. It comes with this case, the base model, and it runs around $1,100. If I didn't mention before, these both cost around $900. I think this Altel is around 700. And then the Perry, like I said, they're around 300 now. So now we have this Skydio, which Skydio 2 Plus, it's made uh, headquarters in California, and it's a pretty neat drone. This is actually the battery on the bottom. It's a magnet. It has 360 obstacle avoidance. Boom, boom, that's one, that's one. Um, all over, it's pretty safe. On top, obstacle avoidance sensors. These are antennas. Um, you actually charge it here and uh, it has a lot of cinematic modes and auto modes for filming if you for example are out on your dirt bike or atv and you want to film yourself or on your bicycle or a motorcycle whatever it is um, or just skateboarding this is a really nice drone for that um, again 27 minutes of flight time and the megapixels on the camera are you ready for this 72 megapixels that's unheard of. Um, there's three controllers for this. So if you purchase it, you can um, purchase a beacon, which is a single controller. You can also use your cell phone for it if you don't wanna purchase a controller. And then there's another controller that goes with it as well. But I love the color, it's a beautiful drone. This is how it comes in the box and it has some spare propellers too. So um, very safe. And if I didn't mention, this also has 4K video. So all of these do. The difference is um, some are 30 frames per second and then the others are 60 frames per second. 
Coming up next, we have DJI FPV, first person view, I believe is what that stands for. When you buy it, I think now you can buy it for around $900. It's a racing drone. It can fly up to 87 miles per hour. It is fast. And these propellers on it, uh, they come with spare propellers obstacle avoidance it has front and bottom obstacle avoidance but actually yesterday it did a fly away on me those are the front sensors here's the bottom sensors and it hit a wall so as you see the propeller is a little damaged i gotta switch those out and then do an inspection and make sure there's no other issues so as far as the camera on this 12 megapixel camera so it's a little bit lower but really this one is about speed but you can still get some pretty good pictures with it 4k video up to 60 frames per second 20 minute flight time this one has the lowest flight time the batteries are pretty big they're kind of heavy and there's two options for controllers um my girlfriend actually bought me this uh, for present, I think birthday or Christmas, but you can use the motion controller for it. Then you've got the goggles you can put on. I like to take these and show students while I'm flying. I let them look inside and um, it actually feels as if they're sitting right here on the plane, like if there was a little mini version of somebody sitting there enjoying a ride. So that's the benefit of these FPV drones. And then this is another controller that you can use for it as well. I haven't used this one yet because I wanted to get more familiar with just using the regular controller for it and the goggles. The downside of this drone is there's a lot of equipment to carry around. You have this and it's connected to this and then you have that and then the batteries are pretty big. They don't last long and so it's a, it's a lot of fun but you got to keep everything charged up and there's just a lot of components to it. So that is the DJI FPV. Now we're gonna move over and talk about drones that you can make money with. Now, I didn't mention it, but the Skydio, they actually have different packages. And so there's like a sports package, a cinematic package, and there's actually one for mapping and enterprise work. Let's talk about these two babies. All of these are fun and great for photography. And the Parrot even allows you to do some mapping and modeling as well with Pix4D. And you can also use Drone Deploy. Those are two apps. Skydio has their own app, I believe. And then I think they also pair with Pix4D. I'll confirm that if you wanna do mapping and modeling. But these two babies um, is what you use for the pro. These are pro drones, professional drones. Now, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, it weighs, and you can feel the difference. This one's about 907 grams. So you have to register these along with the other ones. This is the controller for it. You have a little screen, your cell phone, you have to use that. And then these are your controls and these fold down. These are your antennas on top. Um, Let's see, this one is, as you see, I have my drone registered. So I mentioned before you have to go on drone zone and register it. Then you also have to label it. I'll talk about that in another video. These fold up to a nice case and it's actually not too heavy or bad to carry. Um, I've taken it on flights with me, but you have obstacle avoidance. You have lights at the bottom. You have a really nice sensor and camera. Um, as far as this drone, you actually have no optical zoom, but because you can crop, you have 1.4 times lossless zoom. It runs about, I uh, would say, they don't make this drone anymore. The Mavic 3 is out. This is the Mavic 2 Pro. The Mavic 3 Pro is out and Mavic 3 Thermal Enterprise is out, but you can find this used for around maybe 12 to $1,500 brand new i would say probably about 2500 to 3000 when it was brand new but this is still my go-to you can use this for pretty much any software application for modeling and mapping um, it takes really nice photos and a 360 obstacle avoidance 
and up to 4K video. 31 minutes of flight time on that. And those flight times I give you are all with no wind conditions. So that is the Mavic 2 Pro. That's my baby right there. And these uh, are pretty easy to take off as well. And then if you need to trade out your propellers, it's pretty easy to trade them out. You don't need any um, tools and things like that. Last but not least, my newest addition to the fleet. I just got it in the mail yesterday from Asia. It came in the new V3 Enterprise Evo 2 640T. Look at this controller. It's a little heavy, but not too bad. But I'm telling you, with myself, my eyes are getting bad. I'm gonna be able to see everything. I don't have to worry about having a cell phone. Everything's gonna be right there. This is the battery for it. So it is larger, but it's doable. You know, it's not like it's the, um, the DJI 300 uh, where you need two people to carry that. Uh, these are attachments. So you have an attachment for a loudspeaker if you're doing public safety work, search and rescue. A light, floodlight, any collision light, if somebody's trying to see at night. This drone has thermal, a thermal camera. So you can actually do search and rescue if you're looking for someone in the woods and it's late at night, you can put on different modes and see if you could see them. It senses um, temperatures and heat and uh, it has a very nice 640 by 512 high resolution thermal camera 16 times digital zoom and this uh, v3 the new one is a 13 millimeter focal length wind resistance these other ones wind resistance is five or lower this has a eight category wind resistance um, again there's options to add these here and you can also add RTK, which is real-time kinetic, which gives you centimeter preciseness. The weight on this one is whew, 1150 grams, but the max weight, if you put on different payloads, these are called payloads, is up to 2000. So again, this drone has a dual sensor. You have one side here, which you can see with a different color is uh, for thermal imaging. And then this is your color camera here. Look at that baby, it's beautiful. And it already has the ADS-B, which is uh, the new regulation for the FAA. They wanna be able to track because people keep doing stupid things with drones. So now they wanna be able to track and find people that are breaking the laws, flying in airspace they shouldn't be. And this is already equipped with it. So I don't have to worry about that when a new regulation is official. So that wraps it all up. This is my fleet of drones. I have drones to travel with, but like I said, these two are brand new. I just bought them, only flew them one time to test them. And I think I'm gonna give one away on my channel sometime in the spring. Um, I like the Altel a little bit better. The battery on this, it just feels really, really fragile. Um, this just feels a little bit more durable, um, but they're pretty much the same drones. I love this remote though. This remote control is amazing. My Parrot, that's my baby. The Skydio, that's one definitely to check out. If, uh, if any of you all have bought drones before and you're not the best with manual flight, this Obstacle Avoidance 360 and all the automatic features will keep you safe and allow you to capture some good video. If you like to race, you got a racing drone. And if you want to make money, you got the mapping, the pro for mapping and thermal. If you want to get into thermal imaging, drone inspections for roofing, solar panels, properties, farmland, you name it, this drone has that capability. Well, that's a wrap for my first video. In the meantime, till I drop the next one. Keep it weird, everyone. Happy holidays.